Hi, I'm Nicole Eller, the risk manager at Parkview Medical Center. My role is to um, look at risk and try to prevent those risks for patients, therefore making um, improving quality of care as well as making it safe for our patients and their families while they're here visiting them. And so I'm going to kick this off and, and pass this on to the next group of folks. I'm Desiree, I work in patient transportation. Um, I believe in being very observant to your patient, make sure you know all their wants and needs. Um, I work a lot with them in wheelchairs, bed stretchers, so I always got to make sure that they're locked. I try to help the nurses keep the patients safe by moving the trash cans out of the way. When the bed alarms go off, I run in there to make sure they're not laying on the floor. My name is Kaylee. I'm a nurse on 5 East, and to promote uh, patient safety, I do my hourly rounding. I try to ask my patients if they need to get up and move um, and just be in there talking to them, make sure their needs are met, and that's about it. We promote patient safety through all of our steps in sterile processing, from soiled instruments all the way to clean, from the first point of patients to the last, including equipment as well. Hello, my name is Cindy Miller and I'm the safety event coordinator at Parkview Medical Center to help manage many of the safety events that we receive through Quantros. Um, so I oversee managing those events and working with the staff to look at ways that we can help prevent some of those events from occurring and different methods we can put in place to improve processes to help improve our patient safety here at the hospital. So our main goal in sterile processing is patient safety and that is from when we come in the beginning of our shift all the way to the end of our shift, all the way through for sterile processing. We are the Patient Family Advisory Council here at Parkview Hospital. Our job is to improve patient safety and quality with the employees of Parkview and patients here in the Pueblo community. How I promote patient safety is to make sure that they have the right accessories such as walkers, shoes, non-slip socks, um, that they have their gait belt, that anything that we can do to keep them safe from slipping falls. My name is Callie Larson. I work on 5 East at Parkview Hospital. Um, I would have to say one of the things we do to promote patient safety, and me personally rather, um, make sure that my patients are aware of what to plan for the day, uh, making sure that they know what we're gonna do for them. Um, I also make sure that they know that I'm just a call away, so I teach them how to use their telephones, and um, my phone is always working, so they can call me directly. We work together as a team to ensure that our patients are constantly getting what they need in a timely fashion. Each step is in depth to assure that we're not missing anything and nothing is getting to our patients contaminated in any way, shape, or form. Keep them steady on their feet um, and make sure that they're comfortable before they move um, from the bed to the chair, bed to walker, or to the walker chair or back to bed. Also, we do hourly rounding and we make sure that our patients, we anticipate their needs and that they know that we will be around um, to help them with anything that they may need. And I think just teaching is a really good factor, um, whether it be to students, um, to the staff, and to our patients about how important patient safety is. Before they get out of bed, always make sure they're on fall precaution. If they are, make sure I pay extra attention to them and make sure I, if they need any additional help that I get it. Um, I believe that's a great way to make sure we ensure patient safety. <laughs> I want to thank all of you guys for all the hard work that you guys do in making an effort to make our environment for our patients and for yourselves a safe environment as we work to build a just culture and a culture of safety. Happy National Patient Safety Week!